As we stand on the shore, gazing into the endless ocean, we are reminded of the awe-inspiring beauty that exists beneath the surface. But how much do we know about it? Why should we even care? Should we? Among the countless creatures that call the ocean home, there is one little but mighty fish that plays a vital role in the delicate Pacific nearshore environment, the herring. Herring are not just ordinary fish, they are the heartbeat of the ocean. Their silver scales shimmer in the sunlight as they move in harmony with the rhythm of the ocean, creating a symphony of life. Their role in the food chain is crucial. Larger fish, birds, and marine mammals rely on them for survival. Just imagine a world without herring, the world where the mighty salmon struggle to survive, the whales are left to starve, and the whole coastal ecosystem is thrown out of balance. Their importance cannot be overstated. Let us pause here, staring out into the infinite ocean, to appreciate the herring's splendor. Let us marvel at their grace as they swim in the ocean. Let us fall in love with the herring, not just for their ecological value, but for the way they make our hearts sing with the symphony of the ocean. But as long as we continue to overfish, pollute, and change the ocean's environment, herring are facing severe threats. The commercial roe herring fishery harvests the Pacific herring during their spawn, a brutal practice that prevents reproduction and affects the herring population. It's heartbreaking to think of all the creatures that rely on herring for survival, and how their fate is intertwined with the fate of this small but mighty fish. The current Pacific herring population relies heavily on the waters surrounding Hornby and Denman Islands. It's the last remaining viable spawning ground for the species. It's a sight to behold and a treasure to be cherished. However, its future is uncertain, threatened by human actions. The decline of the Pacific herring is not a false alarm. It's a real and pressing issue that endangers the entire coastal environment. We have a responsibility to protect it. By doing so, we not only save one tiny fish, but we preserve the delicate balance of the entire ocean. We're ensuring that the whales, dolphins, seabirds, and countless other species along the coast will continue to flourish. As we stand here, taking in the vastness of the ocean, let us remember that every action we take has an impact on nature. The ocean is not just a body of water. It's a source of life, inspiration, and beauty. Yet let us ponder, what are we doing to keep the coastal ecosystem healthy? Are we content with just passively watching as herring populations decline and disappear? Are we willing to let our indifference towards their survival reflect on us and our values as a society? The fate of these big little fish is not only crucial for the environment, but also for our own souls. Their existence is a reminder of the magic and wonder of nature, and their decline is a reflection of our own apathy and disregard for nature. The Pacific herring of the Salish Sea are not just a product for a commercial fishery. Their loss would be a tragedy of immeasurable proportions. We can take meaningful efforts towards maintaining and sustaining Pacific herring by becoming engaged with local marine conservation organizations that promote herring conservation. We must remember that the ocean symphony is not just a distant melody, it's a reflection of our own actions. So are we truly being stewards of the earth or are we contributing to its destruction? The choice is ours. <laughs>